month since abortions became illegal in Tennessee. The change went into effect August 25th. On that day, we told you about a local organization helping end newborn abandonment. Over the past month, three more babies in Tennessee have been safely surrendered by their mothers. Raya Katane is here with an update. Good morning, Raya. Good morning, everyone. That organization you mentioned is called a sac secret safe place for newborns of Tennessee. It helps girls and women who want to safely surrender their babies. Now, this is perfectly legal under the state's safe haven law. It allows mothers to surrender their unharmed newborns to designated facilities with within two weeks of giving birth. No questions asked. Since abortions became illegal on August 25th, like you said, three more babies throughout the state have been surrendered. This year alone, nine babies have been surrendered. And since the safe haven law was passed in 2001, 121 babies have been surrendered throughout Tennessee. The nonprofit's outreach director says their phones have been ringing constantly this past month. More women want to know what their options are and safe haven facilities want to make sure they're prepared to accept more babies. It feels like we're doing our job right whenever we do see a baby surrendered and no abandoned babies in 2022. Um, you know, every time just in the, the country that you hear about an abandonment, it's, it's heart-wrenching. Now, there are more than a thousand designated facilities to surrender a newborn all over Tennessee, and that includes police and fire departments, hospitals and clinics, and they're all marked with this sign right here. That's how you know that they do accept these newborns, and we have a lot more information about the safe haven law right now on WBIR.com. Abby and Heather, I'll send things back to you. Ryan, thank you. Well, yeah.